Hey guys, welcome to the new video of Black Ops 3 Unboxing, the Harden Edition. So, um, basically, today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my version or my copy of the Harden Edition of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And, um, it's a bit late, because I have been playing the game, it's already been unboxed, technically, by myself. But I thought I would just show you what came with it. You've probably seen other videos of it, but why not? So, so there you go, guys. It's the right way around now. I uh, switched over. It was the back. It was the back. It was backwards. And uh, now it is uh, the right way around. So I'm going to show you basically what is inside. As you can see, the box is super thick. And um, there's like there's the game case. And then there's another pack in there. Uh, this is the back. It's pretty shiny as well. Like the actual box itself is shiny. And this lighting is really bad. I'm sorry. But uh, maybe I can do that. Yeah, it, it kind of works. I'm just looking in the preview. But, um,. So basically, it comes with these two, if I just take it out of the box, you can see how uh, thick the box is. I could get up in there. Also, at the end of this video, uh, just real quick, I will be giving away a Nuketown um, Black Ops 3 map for PS4 only, and that will be a code, and um, I'll be doing a giveaway for that, so I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video once we've unboxed all of this, and yeah, so if you're at PS4, and you want to get Nuketown, which you didn't get Nuketown for Black Ops 3, you can get it, because I have an extra code thanks to Game. So thank you, Game, for giving me that extra code. Because I got the code in my game, and then they take me with another code. So I just thought I'd give it away, because I've already got it. So, anyway. I'm going to show you first the game case. I'm not going to show you the disc, because it's in my PS4. So, yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, so the game case comes closed, like that. And uh, there's the other side. Yes, be cool. That you don't really see that, but and it opens up. So that's the inside. You know, you got this little leaflet thing here, which I'm actually not sure. I mean, it's just game instructions and stuff with the terms and conditions. I don't know. So we'll look at that out and look at that inside. Look at the detail. All right, that is cool. You can probably see the reflection of me inception right there. You can probably see a reflection of the screen through it on my recording software. But anyway, so it's pretty cool. You got this look, you got that side, and you got that side, and then you got both. Now look how cool that is. That is an amazing thing. This is metal. It's not like really solid metal, it's kind of like, I'd say tin, probably not even that. It's uh, flimsy metal and, um, yeah, quite cute. But it's still really cool. So, yeah, that's the um, game case, which is like the steel um, game case thing. That so, yeah, moving on, we go on to this, maybe thinking, what, what is this, what, what could this be, so let me open this up, ready, <gasps> orange, <laughs> and um, this is pretty cool, they're all in order, I put them back in order, I think, yeah, oh no, no, it doesn't come like that, so, this is the cards that come with it, uh, the artwork, it comes like that. So it's pretty cool, all opened out. And then this black thing here is like this tag is stuck onto the back with this little sticky thing on the back of it. I don't know if you see that. But um, yeah. So we'll put that down. It's really cool as well, like the Black Ops 3 emblem and stuff. That's really cool. And um, yeah, so let me just get these in order real quick because for some reason they're out of order. Oh, no. They're not out of order from when I got them, but they're not in order from the game, basically. So anyway. Moving on, we've got this guy. He is really, really cool. And, um, let me just show you them one by one. So this guy, the Spectre. Um, I haven't used him yet. Uh, it's pretty, pretty awesome from the gameplay that I've seen. And it says on the back of all these cards what they've got. So if you can read that and you want to pause the video, that would be cool to read. But you probably can't read that because you know the lighting is terrible. And I am working on that. I'm, I have got a lamp. You don't believe me? Thug life. There's my lamp. But I don't have an. Um, a port underneath my desk where I can plug it in, I don't have a, another socket for it, so, yeah, I can't, but I'm going to get a bigger extension cord, I've got a 4-bit extension cord, anyway, so, yeah, that's the first one, Spectre, let's move along, we got this one, 
This is the uh, Sarah. I'm probably not going to be able to pronounce a few of these because I sort of pronounce them. But the cool thing about this one is they've got the Annihilator pistol, which comes from. Uh, you can use it in campaign if you unlock it, but it also comes from the Easter egg in Durai's, which. Well, the giant, which I will be. Um, making a video on soon on how to get that. I know it's still a bit late, but I have been busy lately with um, my new job that I've started, so it's kind of all clashed in at a very bad time. But I will be doing that. I, I did it in a live stream, but I want to actually officially do it um, a proper tutorial video for it. Moving on, there's the back. That was pretty cool. I should probably write it a little bit. There you go. You probably can't read it, but that's cool. It's got combat focus and annihilator pistol, which you can see. And uh, yeah, that's really, really cool. Um, the graphics on these are insane. Then we've got Prophet. Um, this is the guy that can like have that electric gun, or he can like glitch all over the place, and like I think it's like teleport or something to a new location. And then there's the back, so it's pretty cool. So you got Prophet. Moving on to this guy, Ruin, um, with the override and gravity spikes here. How cool is that? If I just do that, you can see how cool is that. Pretty mean, pretty badass. So, um, he's pretty cool in game. I've just never really played as this guy. I don't think. I, I don't, I don't really see the point. Now. Here we have the Reaper, and um, he's pretty tough. He's literally my favorite character in the game. He's a full-on robot, and he kicks some serious butt. You know, you can see that epic um, graphics there. How cool is that? He's got this. Now, when you have this guy, when you unlock him, I think it's like level 34. I did it in the beta. You get this guy, the Scythe. You're going to be getting some serious points. It is literally a minigun, and you may think just because it's a little minigun built into the arm that it's weak and it's probably not that powerful. And then it's going to, you know, just get hit marks all day. It's not. It is really not. This thing will rip people apart. It, it's stronger than the minigun from any other Call of Duty that I know. And um, then we got the Psychosis. Um, I haven't used that yet, but it looks pretty cool. So it's it's hacking subgroup. You know what? It just research it. I can't. Oh, if you have the game, why well, read it? Because there is some weird thing. I can't read that word. Not gonna lie. I have never seen that word before. Yeah. Moving on to my second favorite, I would say, the Outrider. I used this before I unlock the um, Reaper guy because it is a great starter thing. It's not unaccurate with the bow. The bow is incredibly accurate. If you can get your accuracy to an average level and you are pretty accurate with normal guns or pistols or anything like that, sniper rifles, this be no problem. This bow is seriously powerful. Even if you don't hit them, if you're in hardcore mode and you get it right near them, the explosion will kill them. But it's a one-hit kill bow. It is really cool and it's really easy to use. I would definitely recommend start off with this Outrider. The Outrider is the best specialist you can have. But look at the graphics on there. They're just sliding. Like you can see the snow light coming up from that foot. And like all the warships in the background coming in. It's just amazing. Then you got... The back, obviously, it shows you look, the special abilities. You got the vision pulse and the sparrow, and you want to go for the sparrow. Don't go for the vision pulse. See through people through walls as red, like red glows, because they'll know that you've seen them, because they'll have it on their screen. So they're thinking, right, I've got to get ready for this. They're prone on the floor by the doorway, and they don't care if you've seen them. They will shoot you, and you know, or they'll throw a grenade, a flashbang, anything. They will kill you if you use this. Not a good idea. You're alerting them to when you're around. Even if they don't even notice you in the first place, you do this, they know you're around somewhere. <laughs> then we got the Sparrow. Perfect. Use the Sparrow. Use the Outrider if you haven't unlocked the Reaper. When you get the Reaper, use the Reaper. Battery. Not gonna lie. Don't like. The grenade launcher is really bad. But when you look at the graphics on the card... Oh my god! Look at the explosions. Like, cool guys, don't look at explosions. Only cool girls don't look at explosions either. But wow, like the robots and stuff just blowing up in the background is amazing. And like the way she's just smoking that cigar, she don't care. But then we move on to the other side. We got kinetic armor and war machine. Now I've used the war machine. I haven't used the kinetic armor. I used the war machine in early beta because this is the first one I played as. 
and the war machine was not that good. I got hit markers most of the time with that thing. And the kinetic armor I haven't tried yet, but so far from what I've tried with the battery, I wouldn't recommend the battery. As I said, Sparrow or Reaper. Get them, use them. The Nomad, I haven't used yet, but nonetheless, look, all these cards are awesome, but just look at that, how cool that is. That's amazing. He's just in the forest. I think that's the Redwood map. Yeah, the Redwood Forest. It looks like he's, like, got some C4 down there or something. But, uh, yeah, he's got the Hive Gun and the uh, Rejack. I haven't used this guy, so I, I don't know too much about, like, any of the, um, specialist weapons or abilities that he has. I haven't used this guy yet, but, uh, Nomad is pretty cool, so... Well, on the graphics card, anyway. But, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. Next guy is super cool. I played as him because if you don't know, if you go into multiplayer and you go into a private match, you can select any specialist you want. You can be any specialist. Any. And this guy is insanely cool on this card. Ready? Look at that guy. Look at him. Look. Look. How cool is that? That is awesome. I mean, he's just walking around in fire with a giant flamethrower in his massive robot suit, and he doesn't give a damn. He is cool. And I played as him in multiplayer, if you didn't know, like I was saying. You go in a custom match, like a private match with a friend or something. You can choose any specialist you want. You can try out all of these specialists before you go into online and see what you like. You get spots and stuff. But this guy's the last one you unlock, the top one. This guy is insane. Probably my favorite character on these um, gar uh, graphics cards down here, these uh, cards. Um, they're not graphics cards, they're just cards with graphics on. Graphics card is something you have on PC, so I'm going to install this straight into my PC. In video. <laughs> but, um, no, so this guy is incredibly cool. And, um, he has the Heat Wave, which I haven't used, but the Purifier, oh my god. You would think it would be like any other flamethrower, like the flamethrower attachment. You can get stuff like the Famas in Black Ops 1. That gets hit markers. But in Black Ops 3, this thing will burn your enemy instantly. You will have cooked chicken. You will have chicken in seconds with this thing. Kentucky Fried Chicken, no problem. You're going to get scorched chicken with this thing. If you unlock this guy, all you want to use is either the Sparrow, the Reaper, or Firebreak. All I'm gonna say. All I'm gonna say. But um, yeah. So these are really cool. You can see how thick the deck is. I'm thinking about like putting them up somewhere, like maybe in between these, like have three in between each of these posters somewhere. But I don't know. So yeah, suggestions maybe. Maybe I could put it like on the side of this, but then you guys can't see it from streaming. I got when I do get my webcam, which will be very, very soon. I have got money for this. I've been saving up for a cool camera, and I'm gonna get it within the next week. So, be expecting live streams and videos with face cam all the time, pretty much. But, uh, yeah. So, I don't know where I'm going to put these. I'm gonna, I want to put them up on my wall. So, yeah. I could get them framed individually, but that costs a lot. So, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, I am going to be giving away a free uh, map. It's a Black Ops. Oh, by the way, if you didn't notice... Black Ops 3 t-shirt. That's right. That's right. I'm representing. Like I said, I've got the code on my phone right now. I'm not going to turn the screen around. Uh, flash second. You will not have been able to read that. This is what Game have said. They sent me a message saying, Thank you for your purchase of PS4, card Black Ops 3, Nuketown PS4. Your redemption code is... I'm not going to read the rest of it. I just like, literally highlighted a bit of that message. Because... There's a few codes in there, I don't know if they're important or not, so I'm just not going to say anyway. But then at the bottom, I've got my code. The 12 digit code, PlayStation 4 only. PlayStation 4. Alright? Only PlayStation 4. Look. PS4. Alright? What? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. If you want to win Nuketown for Black Ops 3 PS4, all you have to do is something simple. You have to follow me on Twitter, share and like this video, but when you share this video, 
make sure you share it to Twitter with my app name in it, at Energize Gaming, so that I can see it in my notifications. And if we get enough people to do this, I will select someone at random for the chance to win this. So whoever I select at random will win this map for PlayStation 4. So make sure you've got PlayStation 4. I don't want to give it away to someone who hasn't got a PS4 or doesn't know anyone with PS4. If Even if you don't have it and you know someone with the game who hasn't got Nuketown and you want to give it to them, then that would be cool. Make sure you have a PlayStation 4. I want to give it to someone who will use this code and not just do another giveaway or something anyway. But uh, yeah, so I have the code. All you got to do is follow me on Twitter, like the video, and share the video and when you share the video to Twitter make sure you put at Energize Gaming in the tweet and um, it'll all be good so I want to thank you guys for watching do what I said liking the video and sharing it and everything follow me on Twitter all the links are down in the description below and uh, I hope you've enjoyed so this has been me unboxing Black Ops 3 hardened edition and it is cool it is a great game so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time peace